The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is PlayStation 4 Fanboy Mark coming to you from the Intergalactic Space Arcade with the review of Drive Club on the PS4. Another racing game where they should have hired me to name it. Drive Club. Really? Every racing game needs the word death in the title at least once. Preferably twice. I love driving games, and I try to play most of them, but I initially passed on Drive Club because the game was called Drive Club. What, do, what does that say about your game? Do I need to be in a club to drive? I don't want to be in a club. Are there membership fees? Screw your club! To me, club is like a negative term. Do I have to wear a tie? Is there quiche? I know there's driving involved, but but the fact is, heading into this review, I, I've heard nothing good about Drive Club from anyone. And that's a shame, because the game is actually pretty good. You just gotta know what to expect heading into it. It reminds me a lot of Grid. Like so many other games these days, it makes a bad first impression, because you turn the game on and it's like, oh, this looks pretty cool. Oh, oh wait. 90% of it is DLC. So you bought the game, but you can't really play the game. Or at least, that's how it seems. Now, just about everything that you see in this review either came with the game or was a free download, because as I'm reviewing this now, the game's been out for a while. A lot of the DLC is free. When you buy the game without downloading anything else, you get a pretty sizable game. There's a lot of driving in Drive Club. So let's get to some of the good stuff, because for starters, the game looks gorgeous and the environments and track designs are really good. Drive Club plays a lot like Grid or Forza Horizon or something. It takes you all over the world and drops you onto a segment of road and lets you race on it. Either for a time trial style race or a race against other cars. There's a whole bunch of events that you'll be competing in, earning stars that you'll use to unlock the next series of events. And of course, there's a lot of cars to choose from. Maybe not as many as back in the Gran Turismo 4 days before DLC pretty much ruined everything, but still quite a few. And as you can see, the cockpit view options are, are really nice. They give you a lot of different ways to play the game. Although I didn't really care for the behind the car perspective in this one. It just doesn't feel right. One feature that I do like is that you can go into the individual races and change the weather and lighting conditions. So you want to drive through a thunderstorm where you can't see a damn thing? Yes, you can do that. Not sure why you'd want to, but you can. This just brings back numerous Pennsylvania Turnpike Adventure flashbacks. Late at night, rainstorms surrounded by 18-wheelers. The difference here is I'm not going to die on the PlayStation. Probably. Also, I don't have a car like this. Love the sound design in Drive Club. Really nice engine sounds. Except one of the things that they do is in, in these nice new cars is that they mute the sounds when you're in the cockpit mode. But there is a good camera perspective where you can basically just put your head on the hood of the car, turn up the volume, it's great. The big budget game console racing genre is a very competitive genre these days with some really good games like the Forza series and Gran Turismo series. I like the Codemasters games, but where does Drive Club fit in? Where does it really stand out? I don't know. You drive, you level up, you can collect new cars, there's online community stuff which I didn't get into. It's got like everything a driving game should have except it's, it still feels like a game that's missing its identity. And I blame the title. The title sucks! 
And look, I'm actually being serious for once. I have not yet complained about the fact there's no El Camino in the game, no machine guns, and no flamethrowers. I will complain about all of those things, but as yet I have not. There should definitely be an El Camino with machine guns and flamethrowers. Preferably one that transforms into a robot. And dispenses beer after each race. And plays awesome tunes while it's doing it. I don't ask for much, but I do ask for that. Also, it's not like Forza or GT where you can customize and tune your cars to no end. In this one, you pretty much drive the cars that you're given. There's lots of events to play and cars to unlock. It's got the online stuff, and there's a bunch of free DLC by now. If you like driving games and have a PlayStation 4, check it out. And of course, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send once again to Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri. Thank you for sending Drive Club. The menu interface looks really nice. Maybe maybe they'll uh, just change the title of the game. Death Drive 9004. Why not? Come on, that does sound better than Drive Club. What are you guys playing this weekend? Drive Club. What are you guys playing this weekend? Death Drive 9004! That sounds like an awesome game. Does it have a transforming robot that dispenses beer? The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set. Drive Club. Drive Club. Just Drive 9004! Woo!